Well, hello, it's great to be with you uh, once again. I'm sorry I haven't been around for much of this term, but it is coming up to Easter, and I'd like to share a collective worship time with you uh, as we come up to Easter. It's a good time of year, isn't it? Especially if you like chocolate. But for me, it's a really special time of year as well, because it's a time when we can think about Jesus. We can think about what he did for us when he came to this earth, when he died on a cross for us, and then on Easter Sunday, we can just be joyful and celebrate because we remember that Jesus rose again. And you know, there were a lot of people there on the day that Jesus was crucified, on the day that he was put on the cross. And I want to talk about some of those people this morning. But before I do that, I just want us to realise something about ourselves. You see, we're all different, aren't we? If you look around your class or your room, you'll see that you're all very different. You look differently. When you speak, you sound differently. You, 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 when you, you even think different from, from one another, differently from one another. Uh, and, uh, uh, and so there's all sorts that we act differently. And I think the world would be very boring, wouldn't it, if we were all exactly the same, if we all looked the same, dressed the same, thought the same, spoke the same, did the same things at the same time. I, at the same time, I think we'd get fairly fed up with that uh, pretty quickly, don't you? But we're not like that, are we? We're all different. And it means that sometimes we see things differently as well. I've got a couple of pictures here, and I'm going to hold them up, and I want you to have a, have a look, have a think, and then say to somebody what you see. Here we go, first one. So what do you see? This picture is about 130 years old when it was first drawn. Mine's a copy, of course, but uh, it's, a, it's a quite a well-known picture. Uh, what do you see when you look at it? Yes, you might have seen a duck or you might have seen a rabbit. Someone the other day said they saw a hare because it's long ears. Well, I don't know, it's a duck, a rabbit or a hare. But um, one or the other you probably saw because we see things differently. And I've got another one here. I like this one. It is uh, a picture here. Now tell, have a look, have a think and say what you see. So did you see a frog or did you see a horse? Now I think I can help because if I think if I turn it that way, you can see the frog a little bit better. And I think if I turn it that way, you see the horse a little bit better. It's a frog or a horse. We see them differently. It, it depends a lot on how we think. It depends on the sort of things we like as to what we see in those pictures. And there were a lot of people, as I say, on the, at, the, at the cross on the day that Jesus died. And they all saw it a little bit differently from one another. One group of people was there with the soldiers who actually put Jesus on the cross. They nailed him to the cross, put nails through his hands, hat nails through his feet, and they left him. And that was their job. That's what they did all the while. That was like, they, they were hard, tough men, and they thought nothing about hurting people. They didn't care about that. But what they saw when they saw Jesus on the cross is they saw an opportunity to make some money. Because they had his clothes, the clothes that he no longer needed. They had them. They took them. And they... The Bible says they cast lots for them. That really means like they, they rolled a dice, if you like, to see who would win them so that they could sell them, probably, and make some money. That's what they saw when they saw Jesus on the cross. And then there were some other people there. There were the Jewish religious leaders. Now, they were a bit pious. They were a bit holier than thou. They thought they were better, better than everybody else. In fact, they thought that they were God's authority on earth and that they could do anything they wanted and tell people to do what they wanted. And Jesus had crossed swords with them a lot when he'd, been on, uh, when he'd seen them and he'd told them that actually they'd got the wrong attitude, they'd got the bad attitude. And so they didn't like him very much. And so they were glad to see him on the cross. They were happy about it. They were really uh, happy. In fact, they, uh, they took the mickey out of him really because they said, look, he saved himself, he saved others, he, he healed others, he brought people back to life and did all sorts, but he can't save himself. If he really is the son of God, why doesn't he come off the cross and prove it to us? They were really horrible to him and very smug about everything. And that's what they saw when they saw Jesus on the cross. And then there was a, a man there who was a, a, a bloke, and really he was there for the spectacle. He was just looking on and just thinking, what a great spectacle. And he was hoping for even more because he was hoping to see a miracle. He'd heard, I suspect, that Jesus had done all these wonderful things while he'd been on earth. Uh, and uh, Jesus prayed. He prayed to his Father in heaven and on the cross. And he said, why have you forsaken me? Uh, and he said words that sounded like Eloi, Le Eloi. And this man thought he was calling for Elijah. And so he went and got a sponge and he put some wine on the sponge, put the sponge on a stick and then offered it to Jesus to drink. Uh, and one of the reasons was that he was hoping that Jesus would stay alive long enough so that he 
would see a great miracle and would see, uh, hope, uh, he was hoping that, that, that he might see God come and get Jesus and rescue Jesus. So he was just there for the spectacle, for the show, if you like. And then there was another man there. He was a Roman centurion. So he was a Roman soldier as well, but he was a man who was in charge of a lot of other Roman soldiers. He, he demanded respect and he got respect because if you didn't respect him, you got in trouble, big trouble. And so he's a very important man, really. And he was there, probably in charge of the soldiers that had sold the clothes. And he looked at Jesus on this cross and he, he saw when Jesus actually died. And he said something rather wonderful because he said this man was the son of God. This man was the son of God. He saw Jesus for who he really was. He realised that this man hanging on this cross was different from any other man that he's seen hanging on a cross before. He realised in the way that Jesus had died, in the way that Jesus had behaved, that Jesus was the son of God. They all saw it differently, didn't they? Some were just there for the spectacle, for the show. Others were there to make some money. Others were there because they wanted to gloat and, and, and believe that they got rid of Jesus. Of course they hadn't. But that one man, that Roman soldier said, this is the son of God. I wonder what you think about Jesus. I wonder what you think about why he died on a cross. I believe he died on a cross so that we, be, we could be forgiven for the things that we've done wrong and that we could get to know God. Easter's a great time. Easter's a brilliant time. I love Easter because we get, well, we get chocolate and I like chocolate. But it's also a good time to think about Jesus and to think about what he did for us. We might see it differently, but you know Jesus died for all of us to help us. And we can ask him to help us and we can ask him to forgive us. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much that we're able to be together and we thank you for Easter and we look forward to it and we thank you for all the good things that we have at Easter. But Lord, we pray that you'll help us to think about Jesus, to remember what he did for us. And Lord, we thank you that when we see Jesus, we can see the Son of God. Father, we pray that you'll be with us throughout our school day Help us to do all the learning that we've got to do and thank you for our teachers and the staff. Be with us and be with them and keep them safe and keep us safe as well, we pray, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you uh, for listening. I hope to see you all very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Jesus was alone with his disciples He told them of the things to come The Son of Man will die but rise up three days later They didn't understand him What did he say? On that third day Jesus He has risen Death is not the end Jesus He has risen To the throne He's coming back to to a cross outside the city They crucified him with two thieves One asked, Lord, please remember me when in your kingdom All those who trust the Son have eternal life Today with me
the sky so they could see.